Uh, there is no a lot of action, so I need to add the N100 tables. Uh, there is uh, only one more NL200 tables and uh, it's on my other monitor and there are no NL400 tables at all. So we're going to play what we, what we can play. We can uh, use this time for questions and stuff like that. Okay, so we got a cold call tribute here. We don't have a range and anything. Uh, I'm gonna play a two, uh, two street game in this in this spot. I'm gonna bet like this and shove. I mean, it's obvious uh, that this is probably a fish. I'm gonna shove the turn here. I'm gonna call here. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, this guy is. I would say super tight. I think this guy is super tight. Uh, most players in super sport are other uh, other really big fish or really tight passive players. Okay, we're gonna isolate here. So we can use this time for for questions and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna make a squeeze here. This player opens 42%. Okay, we're gonna squeeze it. We can see how this player reacts to squeezes. Versus squeeze, he folds really a lot and his close strength is like probably a really, really strong hands. On this board, we obviously need to see that 100% uh, of the range. Okay. I think that we need to see what his uh, call range is for small blind. Okay, he has some broadways, pairs. He probably continues with pairs. I'm gonna double barrel here. We got a ace blocker in this spot. We're gonna double barrel. Uh, we got a gacha also. This player will probably have like, like pairs in his range. You can see here. He check. He falls turn fifty percent. He check raises fifty percent. Check raises the turn with top pair and flush draw, and mid set. So he probably has set here. Uh, which is really nice when we see like st uh, stats like this we can know when he calls on the turn we have like profitable bluff on the river because he will uh, shove his really hands here and his call range will probably be weak so uh, we can double barrel here and uh, every time we, we double barrel we probably want to triple barrel also i mean he can he, he can have like a pocket force in this spot i mean he probably will shove that but i think with the blocker and stuff I think we got a easy play. I think it, this is standard call here. I'm gonna fall multi way here uh, with Queen Jack off. Uh, this player tributes around 19% on a lot of hands. Uh, against the hero, he's a little bit stronger, but Jack, uh, Queen Jack is not uh, floating in, in this spot. Uh, Jack 7, this guy uh, defends like 70% of the hands. 70% of the hands are like king uh, 4 off uh, and uh, queen 6 off and every suited hands 6, 7, 5, 7 and 4, four 6 off it's nice okay we're gonna make a call here uh, we're gonna bet one third okay 38% let's see on his high board we don't have one but it's nice to see what uh, on what size he falls he falls a lot in one third and we he here have like boards to see okay this is fault i can check it this guy is like opening 10 percent he probably has a limping range here he doesn't check fault so he probably is a little bit stronger 
he, he folds here 63 percent so I'm going to trivet with smaller size uh, when he double checks he folds 100 percent so I'm gonna bet in this spot I can bet like 6x in this spot also we are still waiting for uh, for tables to open uh, I have one table 100 and now that is opened so that's okay we can call show with 56 okay not a lot of action lately yesterday 15 tables then nothing today when I came in like two tables of NL200 and that's it but it's summer and stuff like this happen okay I check here we can check we can delay C but I'm going to delay C but because I think that he, that he has a uh, weaker weaker uh, and we have equity and we're not, not going to bet for sure because I think we have more jacks than he has I'm going to bet with a bigger size here okay I follow chat this time and uh, I think we'll have more time to follow it to answer questions okay he hit the other pair on the turn on the river I think that he will, will be weak he will have like 5x also 9x and I think that river is okay okay for us to bet okay I'm gonna add another table here we take care of that we're gonna add another table I hope we're gonna add a little bit higher limit but as soon as, as table open I will add it and I will just see if something has changed no it's not okay I think we can call here in this spot uh, like uh, yesterday we're going to talk uh, about the pop-up that when the action comes I won't go from one thing to another I think it's much easier by that and I have in my mind a couple cool things I want to show you also but when the spot comes I'll show you yep that's life chain that's life tomorrow we'll add and I'll 50 and then I'll 20 we got to you need to start buying the program so I so I can play higher stakes nothing we can we can here to, uh, nothing we can do here of course he much he has like all stronger ace when he isolate and Okay. Uh, he calls like probably it's forty one percent, but I would say it's it's more than that. Okay, he has queen nine off in his range, which is important for this board. I mean, he won't float us without equity. Like he won't call seven eight here that's good to know so he's gonna call like uh, his uh, draws he's gonna call all pairs all pocket pairs we're gonna check here uh, and we see we wanna try to bet check bet here we'll see his fall to bet check bet line here check call check 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 fold is really a lot okay we're gonna make call here uh, I'm gonna fold uh, he doesn't step a lot he just steps like 28% and I think we have profitable bet check bet against him so we're gonna fold here uh, we're gonna trim it in this spot I think we have a value bet really easy here hi magic orange okay this guy checks trips on the on the 
on the river. Wow. Donk, bet the turn and check the river with trips. And if he raised the river, okay, I would get it. He tri tripped us. But he was like afraid on the river that he's not good. Okay. Just to see if tables no nothing, still nothing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna play what we have. Uh, okay, this guy calls 27% of the range, calls or tributes. Uh, I think he has like maybe ace nine off as his first off suited ace. And he doesn't have a two pair in his range. That's good. So we can bet, we can abuse this range. And he folds a lot of civets. Okay, we are. Uh, we w we want to see his how much he calls big blind versus small blind or tributes. It's thirty eight percent of the range. Okay. Let's see on super sport if there's an action. No. Simply, maybe it's not the, today. Is not the day that people want to play. There is no our friend shining. That's also too bad. Okay, this guy doesn't open a lot. We see that he opened thirty-one percent against the hero. He opens a little more, forty percent. I would say it's a sample, but it's not. I see like king. I don't see any uh, bad hand, but I think three six is like too good to fold. Uh, this guy just don't step. I'm going, we're going to go for the lay civet here. And he bets the pot here. We're of course going to call. We can even raise, but he can have like a higher civet in this board structure. So we're going to call here. Uh, I'm going to fold. I mean, I think we have to call once. Okay. Uh, and I know that he doesn't uh, he doesn't triple barrel a lot, so I'm gonna raise here. Okay, and I'm gonna bet here. Hmm. Okay, fives are called in this spot. I think we need to shove here. Even he called, I mean, he has like big civet here, so he's gonna bet like jack x for sure. That's okay, then we can shove. Okay, he folds. This is called with fives. Mm. <laughs> this is not good here. I'm gonna bet here. This is really not good. I want to see his check call check fault. Uh, so we're gonna see here. Just to be sure. Okay, check, he checks fault slot. I think this is like sick. I feel like we are behind here. I feel like we're behind, but we can fold. But I feel like we are behind, like king ten. King ten. It looks like a king ten to me. Okay, but he has queen ten. I know this guy is really tight, but I don't think he can like. Uh, he just like uh, check behind like he has nuts on the turn and when we bet river he like shoves them I don't know okay here's our friend from uh... <laughs> yes magic orange in in uh, in uh... Here in Croatia, flies are just awful there. Everything is full of them. Okay, we're gonna need to add more uh, more tables, but currently there are three tables. One NL200 and two NL100. And soon as something open, I will add it. I say fold. Okay, change just to read. Okay. We don't have a time bank here. I saw you fold ace blind versus station guy. 
I, I I think I accidentally fold. I would never fold something like that, and that's not standard. Okay. I think we can raise here. This guy bets a lot. Okay. He double barrels a lot, so. And I don't play limping strategy. No, I just I just raise like uh, fifty-five to seventy percent. Depends on the player. I just maybe fold like maybe maybe flies. Got something to do with that. We don't have a time here. I forget. Uh, in super sports, usually time bank is uh, one minute long, but not now. Okay, we're gonna close super sport. There is no action. Soon as uh, NL two hundred opens, we're gonna come. There is no tables. There is just no tables today. I just don't like a chain. I don't like. Uh, I don't like uh, have a limping range. It's something I don't. You would need to have then limp raise range and stuff like that. I think it's too complicated. It's much better just to have like raise range. In my opinion, there is one NL four hundred table. I think uh, I'm gonna have a normal size in this spot. With this, with, with this hand, just to protect my overbet range a bit. So, okay, we're gonna come. But it's, there's no action. There is an 100 table, but everybody is sitting out. Okay, let's come in. Maybe people will, gonna, will start to play. And I'm gonna put this table here. And we can be like here. Okay, we're folding here, folding here. A7 is okay. Okay. I'm gonna call here. Okay. Usually the edge do you like his queen 10 shove on the river in the super sport I don't think that he's uh, trying to get me to fall the straight I just think he he thought the, he has like nuts I think it's a bad player and that's it would I fall the straight I think that straight and my my uh, 7 7 is the same hand in this spot so I don't know, I think if I call this, I would call probably that. We're gonna shove here. I think that he's like rapping uh, full, I mean, he, normal player should uh, rap their uh, full house. And, uh, That's it. I mean, he's he sh by that play. I think that he's rapping king ten, but he like uh, decided. I mean, I don't like the check behind also, on the turn. I mean, uh, that's what's showing me like I have the nuts in his mind. That check behind on the turn, and the raise the river. Is he like baiting 3x here for value? Okay. I think that he will have like hands like Jack, Jack, Jack 9, 
nine ten stuff like that. Okay, well, I'm gonna make a delay save it here. Okay. I can see he's check raising the turn. I think this is first check raise. Okay, we're gonna fall. We can bet here, we can check. Now he, when he double checks, I'm gonna bet. I don't know why Shining doesn't play now. It would be... I don't... If Shining play, probably somebody would play, would play also. So we're gonna need to add more tables. There is only three tables now. Okay, just to see. Gonna fold here. Just to see maybe our oh, situations have changed some new NL200 tables open. Okay, so we're gonna add them to the wait list. Okay, it seems like we are also. Uh, uh, maybe starting too soon. Okay, this guy has 50%, he has ace 10 off, he has 4 10 off, okay, he has some strong hands uh, in this spot. His check raise strength is, strength is really a lot, we don't have blockers, so I think we can fold like th this type of hand. I'm going to try to see, we have like three, three, three tables of NL200 waiting, that's okay. Maybe we are starting uh, streams too soon. Maybe we are st starting stream too soon because I played yesterday a bit, like and there was like a lot of action and like one a.m. or two a.m. So maybe like we are just he's double barrels a lot, so I'm not gonna fold a uh, call three on this board with uh, with uh, dead blockers. Okay, we're gonna raise ace five. This player tributes a lot. But but no matter about that, we need to open this hand. And one thing, okay, I got the new table, but it's it is NL one hundred. But okay, as soon as uh, bigger blinds open, we're gonna go there. Uh, what one thing that's annoying me on iPoker poker is like uh, sitting out. Uh, the players sit out constantly. I don't know that table bre breaks in, and that's the reason why I. Uh, like lost will to play on eye poker. Uh, when you play on party, you, you have like 20 tables you can play anytime. Uh, there is no breaking tables. Here is always breaking tables. Player has hitting scripts. You can get into the tables. I mean, I I, I need to have like uh, other monitor filled with ta with tables. So as soon as the place open, I need to click uh, sit in. And if the fish is there, uh, it's impossible to, to go in because uh, people are automatically sitting. And that's like annoying me as I, I, I can't tell you how much. And that's like uh, uh, Chen, you asked me yesterday about bigger limits. Uh, I think that uh, bigger limits are playable at at at, at I poker currently. Much more better on stars and party poker. So like I'm hoping next time we are just making challenge on stars. That's like something would I would like to do. Give me stars. Okay, we here uh, can raise. We can call against one third. I would like to raise. Uh, just to punish this size because uh, he shouldn't even have that size uh, blind versus blind I think we need to have bigger size and like more uh, more uh, uh, stronger range we can't like see that 70% uh, of the position okay bet have the pot here uh, we, we don't have stats so okay I'm gonna raise also here I'm gonna bet here. Uh, this guy also sibets too much. He sibets sixty percent, so we're gonna, of course, have big raises here. Uh, 
in the spot where he needs like CBS 40% when he somebody CBS 60% and in some spots he needs to have check range and we see 57% that means probably that he has in the spots there needs to be like check range or, or like small C, small uh, frequency of a C but he has like a, a much bigger frequency than it should Uh, no, I, I I played on party poker uh, and for me this is the best site of all but now they are forbid hand history forever uh, I play uh, uh, I, I play uh, on super sport and I poker uh, uh, from when I get the like uh, when I start using like my new program beta version of my new program I played there like eight months or maybe even ten months. Okay, we can call four bit here, but this guy is like really tight. Uh, we're gonna add more, more, more. Uh, we're gonna add more sites for sure. So uh, we're gonna add for challenges. You can choose whatever site you want, uh, but um, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we can play on Winning Poker Network. VPN and we can play on Winamax and Poker Stars. Okay, we're gonna form it here. Uh, okay, fold. We can go to Forbit pop up in this spot. When he called for, but he falls a lot in position. Okay, we can see with call. Okay, he even floats. We're gonna go for smaller size. He even have floats and he floats a lot. Okay. Three bit here. He fall. He doesn't fold really a lot. So, but we don't have a range that he's calling. Okay. This is three bit. He doesn't fold anything. Okay, as soon as table open, we're gonna we gonna be there. Okay, I think here he, this player doesn't follow. I think I'm gonna play a two street game. I'm gonna bet, and if I have an uh, if he, if he calls on the turn, then we got like a diamond or something with the equity. We're gonna show. He can like uh, okay, this call. Uh, we don't have hands, but I see I we see that he falls 31 to see that, and for, we can assume. We can assume that this player even floats here. Okay, we're gonna. This is trivet, but I didn't put this player uh, double barrels 53. We can see what type of range he double barrels. Strong made hands. Okay, but I think on this board structure we need to call. This is like shaw here, like we said. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check here. And he. He bets river only 24% of the time. Okay, we got we get, and he called with Ace King. Okay, and this is I think seven is not the greatest hand to have. Uh, just to see his bluffs in position, is he maybe? I think this is like. Lila, I'm gonna fold. He seems tight. It's close. I would like rare, better call like queen three, queen four here. Okay. And check here. Okay, this player called queen nine. I mean, it seems like it seems like his river betting range is a pure bluff, and he he bet the pure bluff with uh, almost a pot, and uh, with normal size it was a two pair, and our bet was ace king, and I'm gonna go to that cool pop up I was talking about, and I didn't, uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't go there unfortunately I'm gonna go here to see out of position his betting range 
after betting turn his strength is 8 so he he's more st stronger than average and we're gonna see here he has like bluffs one bluff he had luck one bluff out of position with three quarters of the pot and that one bluff was ace eight without equity okay now when we see that it's a call i think it's uh, i think our call is like 50 50 we can call we can because he we, we saw that he has like equity bluffs uh, non-equity bluffs so i think we can even call and we should call when we see like uh, all things uh, changes when we see no equity bluffs no equity bl bluffs change all, stru all structure of bluff catching okay uh, this guy tributes us i'm gonna answer not get a, uh, on, a, on a question as soon as i uh, have a opportunity okay we see his tributing range from here small blind versus button uh, we see a screen we see kings i mean this guy's like really really probably like nine nines plus nines plus ace queen and probably ace 10 suited ace jack king queen and queen jack suited king king jack suited he civets i think we can't do anything except calling he double barrels turns really not much so okay uh, we also see that he like check folds a lot on the turn and what will I see that skip turn and check call okay when he skip turns and check calls he called like ace queen in this spot okay and now he double barrels I think now uh, from what I saw in the HUD I think that he would be like checking like kings here even if he like use this size we can assume that he can have kings uh, in this spot and bet it with a smaller size but I think that this type of player would probably check the kings we have like uh, easy bluff here we, we can see now uh, we can see now like easy bet here we can uh, it would be fun to see his check fold on the river but we don't have that stats but like here like bluffing with backdoors would be like super nice against this type of player and he folds instantly okay just to see uh, okay uh, I'm gonna answer not get the question what is my biggest strength and weakness uh, I think uh, that I play aggressively uh, I think that's my strength and also my weakness we're gonna like when we see like delay C betting falling 69% and uh, we're gonna make an overbet here because this player uh, like I saw that he calls delay C bets like really weak and I'm gonna again uh, bet here with the delay okay because this guy like faults really a lot on delay C bets so against him we're gonna like have all day delay C bet bluffs uh, I think also my aggress uh, aggressiveness is my weakness because I'm constantly in some strange spots with some strange hands and when things doesn't go my way uh, I always try to somehow to win the pot and uh, against uh, some of the day it can be like a horror story but I think that's my way to play I, I always played when I start like playing this game I played that style and it's the only way I know to play I like to I like to play with uh, when there is an action, there is something going on. We just uh, we play with somebody. We try to overplay him. I mean that's poker for me, and I I will play until I uh, I see that uh, until I feel uh, that feeling uh, like I'm feeling now. When that pass, I think I'm gonna do something else. Um, okay chain you, you told me did i consider acr icr i think that today is like really easy to know who is the bot i mean uh, i can i can uh, know who is bot from like 600 hands there is no problem to find out who is the bot who is not the bot so i think it's not uh, so much an issue 
this guy tributes big blind versus early a uh, little bit uh, on the loose side big blind versus like 10 percent he even have like sevens here then okay we're gonna call here nines and broadways and he checks we're gonna see now he's uh checking uh, check folds of flop 40 percent of the time okay we're gonna step of course and we're gonna see how this player uh, reacts to what kind of hands he check calls in tribute pots okay when he check called his week here we can assume that for sure he calls ace king okay he called under pair and he called under pair when so we can see that his check call range is just weak we can like bet again for protection and value in this plot okay uh, we saw his check call range it's pretty weak and i think he would bet the over pair here so we are just betting for value and protection we have a check raise here and we can go answer another question okay great i'm looking forward i would like to play anywhere so where is an action i would like to play uh, we, we can over bet here uh, i don't think that uh, he has like uh, he has like queen x or he's on the draw so i think with our bluffs we, we would like do this size okay one third of the pot we're gonna fold everything else this player doesn't fold a lot so we we're gonna start our betting and uh, i remembered yesterday that he had like call with king 10 on queen jack something he called over bet on the turn with king 10 and this is that spot so he called over bet jack for two turn is a queen he called king 10 over bet okay we're gonna over bet here we're gonna go for 14 5 we can assume that he's gonna call like lighter orbits so we're gonna like bluff bluff the river more often against him uh river check fold uh river check so he like he likes to call an orbit and fold the river so it's telling me that he's probably calling flush draws without like uh equity to call he probably calls them also and he probably even i think that this type of player would like raise when we overbet and he has like two pairs he would raise it i think that's that type of the player so when he calls we need to attack okay this guy is like uh shorter big blend versus button i think pretty linear strong range so he's not even full it's 100 big blind so i can fall Uh, no tables opened yet i think we're gonna see okay uh, okay now we have like super much tables but uh nobody's playing they're just sitting out okay but we have like four four tables that are playing so we're gonna we're gonna wait to come in that's good five tables are playing we're gonna get it, it into the bigger limit soon i think but on the nl 400 uh, there's just one table that just is shining and the players are just sitting out so annoying so annoying okay okay we, we can we have like nl 100 nl 200 table great 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 we have one and 200 we're gonna call here and we're gonna leave we're gonna leave here i'm gonna check here because he's calling from small blind and he folds a lot of on delays so we're gonna say we're gonna have like a different strategy against him okay I'm gonna call here I'm gonna fold here if the spade come out surely I think had a good bluff and we have like I see that he's betting like 9x 
on the turn and by this size I think there's a possibility he bets 9, 9x on the river so I think like getting an ace and uh, also jack king or queen we can really bet pretty easy that's the reason I call the turn okay we got uh, another table coming okay same thing here this player doesn't fall to one or thirty percent but he falls a lot on the lacy but so we're gonna check here check also here okay and we have like clear bet here we have like jacks here uh, we have like ace king of course so it can't get any better than this I don't know chain uh, you, you ask me if this hat is good for pot limit tomahawk I think that not Kelly can answer that question he, is, he plays pot limit tomahawk okay uh, I'm gonna use bigger size and this guy is a fish I'm gonna use bigger size he doesn't fall a lot on, on seabed so I think we can even check here he folds a lot on the turn and we don't like that he like falls pocket force here we're gonna check here we have another table coming I'm gonna sit out of this table okay and add new table of course we are gonna call here of course I think we are losing a, above from King Jack here this size telling me that okay king 10 okay I'm call here he opened 50 percent he has a lot of broadways he has a lot of asex here and when he double barrels 66 percent I'm, I'm sure that he's continuing that so we can fall turn his bluff here we also want to turn okay and not so good of the river but he won't bet like queen jack here that's good he won't bet king jack or ace jack okay so he's gonna bet here like straights like flushes and I think that's it and I think that he has like probably hmm, he has all aces here I think it's Lila, but I'm gonna call here. I think it's okay. He has flush. I saw that he's triple barreling a lot as a bluff here, and the river is like the river. The river is not good, but he's not betting jack x. I see that his river is high, and he used exactly a smaller size. So I think it's okay. I'm gonna call here. We're gonna tribute here. He check raise it here, so strange. Okay. I mean he can he can check raise here pocket force and bet like this size. So we're gonna be careful here, we're gonna bet small on the river. Uh we're gonna make uh call for bit here. Okay, we're gonna bet normal size here. Yes, I would say not caddy. That's uh, about rec recognizing the bots. Okay. As soon as the table of 200 opens, so I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna fold this too. This is not good here. He five bets in this spot, so I, I don't think we are calling here. So we call four, but in this guy who usually plays in a 100 is five betting. I mean, we, we can know what he has like 
Even kings are not in his range anymore. Okay, we're gonna go for this size. We are immediately gonna see his range. Big blind versus button versus big blind, 17%. I think it's pretty standard range. A stand off. King 9, King 8 suited plus. Okay, let's see how he reacts on low boards. He doesn't fold on low boards. So we're gonna use, of course, bigger sizing here. And we can bet that he will like cold with backdoor suite with, uh, with spade here, for sure. Flush draws, 9, 10, stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna see his step on the turn. He steps turn 53%. We can go for check ship, I think. We can bet we can go for the check ship. I think it's the same. Okay. Uh, this is not the greatest trigger because 9 10 got there. We block that. It's okay. 8 9, and that's it. Pocket 9s. Maybe even in the raising range. Okay. But he also has six, seven suited, seven, eight suited here. We can go to our uh, cool pop up here. We don't have stats when he bet the near pot. Okay. We have like trips face kicker. Okay. He calls small blind in this spot, but he falls a lot on the lace bit, so we're gonna delay C bit him. He check raises we fall. I mean, it's like really good board for small blind range. So I'm just play, uh, I'm just betting exploitable about his stats. That's all. I usually just give up. Okay, betting one third. Pretty nice, nice flop here. We can bet normal side. We can bet bigger. We can rip a6, we can bet queen x for protection here, I think, also. We're gonna see what will happen. I think that this player, when he checks and he likes so so high c bet range, he's always falling. We're gonna overbet here. I think it's okay. I would use this size for bluffs also. So it's okay. Uh, I think this is really cool pop up, uh, and they didn't use it a lot, but it's really good. Like you have uh, sizing tells out of position, in position, and range with it. I think it's so 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 good uh, that you can see like player tendencies. Since you can see which player will never bluff with that size. Uh, for example, I when I go uh, to PO yesterday with all hands we played, uh, I go through the shinings. Uh, we were betting uh, uh, range and he never overbet bluff once at like, I don't know, 17k hands or, or so we have on him. Just by seeing that yesterday we could like save our money, even with the top of the range. It's so cool pop up and I just uh, sometimes forget to use it, but it's so cool and I think that players on lower limits will be thrilled with him, like on NL 100 and 200 people have like like uh, tells and with this you can know uh, you can know how they bet exactly in, in all possible lines okay we trivet here we're gonna see his range small blind versus but small blind versus big blind his calls like five seven okay he calls even off broadways like king ten off so he calls a lot here but he that didn't call it now Okay, we gonna. Okay, we are waiting for. There is a lot of tables, but we currently can cannot enter into into them. Okay. 
as soon as the, the, the soon as something open I will come into that tables so it seems like we are uh, we are uh, starting too soon even now people like uh, like to start play and now it's like 10 tables people like want to want to start to play like uh, maybe 10 30. okay and also uh i i just saw hands against this guy this guy is like so neat and i called him like three times with like hands that shouldn't be called at all just by looking that pop-up park could save anything okay big man versus button cutoff he doesn't have six nine off that's really important in this spot and he doesn't have four six off so it's it's important and he donks here we're gonna raise here uh let's see his uh donking range strong hands but my friend on this board you don't have you don't have so strong hands in your range and you never have a nut in your range that's really important also okay we're gonna squeeze it we're gonna see how this player reacts to squeezes he forbids us for best strength, tens, even tens, jacks. Uh, we, we are thrilled to shove here. It's so nice. We are showing. And he has jacks, and that's really good for us. Okay, we, we, we won it. really gross turn here we don't have anything here but I mean I don't like to play against fish because fish like always check jack x here but I think like all players in this spot overfold we we need this to work like 33 percent or more and I think it's working against every player Three X and one go off here for fourteen. If he can fold three X, it's like really good for us. I can't give up now. I mean, with with random range and I just can't give up with this hand. And you, when and this happened, that's why I said I don't like to do this against the fish because fish will check jack, jack x so our strategy should be when uh, we know this that he's like slow playing when he steps we, we want to check raise a lot and I, I i don't think i can do not anything now but okay okay uh let's go to the river pop-up uh magic orange asks me how do you see if someone doesn't bluff uh you can see for example with this size his river river range okay he used like 95 percent plus in position like really rarely and you see that only time he did it is like pure pure uh it's nuts nuts hand he used like 70 till 90 percent 95 percent only only good hands quads trips not flush two pairs so against when you see this player bet like 70 percent 75 percent plus it's never a bluff it's it's simple never a bluff because we don't see any bluff that he made in this spot so uh his bluffs are in this spot he bet when he bets half of the pot he's he can bluff and we can see like what kind of bluffs it, th there are like you can see for example if he bets of half of the pot he will just like rep a6 he will bet like 50 percent he will rep again a6 he's going to try to rep a6 but his value range is like always uh, against region 75 percent plus i mean and it's a habit when you see this you know that this is the habit because this player never like have he didn't have one bluff in that uh, size range 
and when you see that like you know you can attack his like half of the pot he has half of the pot like medium straight hands and you can raise him uh, uh, he has like uh, bluffs in that range when you have like hand you can call but it's too good to fold you can raise that against him but when he like bets 75 percent plus you know you are cooking in like you are going into the nuts probably or or close to the nuts and like on nl 100 and nl 200 everybody has stuff like that everybody so it's really valuable pop-up for that type of the players for sure i see that this guy he'll he'll call like 3-3 here so we're gonna bet for value here he calls small blind he calls small blind versus button he has like 70 percent of the hands he probably have like ace 10 is his only ace 10 ace jack here he tributes ace queen so he there are his only aces and he has of course uh he has like aces uh aces suited ones like ace five ace four okay i think we can really bet here And we're gonna four bit here, fold here, call here, ace king. We are against ace king. That's good, but I don't think we can win it. Ace king is always nuts. Magic Orange, can you tell me, are you satisfied with the answer or, or you want me to explain it a little bit or you know everything? Tell me what, what you think about the explanation. Are you satisfied or not? Let's call with what did Tonga French call us? And he indeed had poker tree, pocket, pocket trees. Okay. We are waiting for tables. We are waiting for more tables to to have. I need two more tables or three. This table is gonna like. And I'm pretty sure that this this is the bot also. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, let's go to the multiway. He has like really high civet multiway, like under pair, middle pairs. That's like really strange for bots. That's really strange for uh, normal players because they don't see but a lot on multiways. Uh, what is like? What is like maybe discouraging me for saying he's one hundred percent? But he doesn't have like a big stabbing range. He doesn't have doesn't stab a lot. His cibet is on the higher side. Here, Sibet is on the higher side, but I cannot say with 100% certainty that this is a board. Even I think that it is. I'll be very happy when we start making challenges. <laughs> Just play on one side, uh, six tables, and it will be so good. Okay, I'll call for four ten here. I would like a check raise a little better hand than this. It has he has high of the seabed. We can even do it if he like is folding a lot on a check raise. Okay, but we we, we don't know, and we aren't there. And this is like strange. Uh, he's double barreling on the turn that. And he ha only has strong hands. I think that people uh, with this kind of tibet would like check, probably like. On, on a turn that is like so good for us, he wouldn't bluff with these stats. 
uh, I'm gonna screw, I'm gonna call for a bit here. Okay, I'm gonna use this size. And this guy's a fish. It's I mean pretty pretty obvious. Uh, you, you remember with this hand when this guy uh, had the aces, he made a, a four bet here. So he doesn't have aces 100% in this spot. I'm gonna call here. He has ace king. He has jacks. Okay, we're gonna we lost here. But I mean, this is just so exploitable play by me. Because I knew I knew that he has like uh, uh, he doesn't even have king or ace is one hundred percent, and uh, what by all that money by this guy, I think we got have like we we need to call with ace king. I'm, I'm just, uh, how do you say, I'm just starting to get uh, used on the strength numbers. I didn't use it a lot. I'm just like now starting to, to take a look at, the, at them, uh, especially uh, in versus the hero spots. Too bad we didn't get this king. But I think it's like so, so obvious with this guy when he like Orbit with the aces there, and now he's like showing, like it's obvious that he has like some 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 like something like he had, and I just <laughs> wanted to punish him. Okay, we, we got one table, we got one more table. That's good. Okay, we're gonna leave here. We're gonna come here. You see Magic Orange how people have like really, really, really big tails. You just need to closely monitor them. Like, for example, and this is so obvious. And like, even uh, when we had like Ace Queen suited there, we could have like Ace King and I would fall the Ace King in that spot. But now, not gonna happen. Uh, we, got, we have one more table. Maybe luck will change now. Maybe luck will change. Uh, I mean, I will fold here immediately, and we need to fold. We need to leave one table. We're gonna leave here. I mean, really, really many tables now. That's good. Okay, Natkedi, uh, you are telling me uh, to expand on this, okay. Uh, why do I prefer graphs over, uh, over strength numbers? On graphs I see everything. As soon as I see graphs in, once, in two seconds I know exactly how the hand went, which size he, did he use, how, how was the context of the hand, and I know immediately what type of uh, thinking that player had. By the strength numbers, you can you cannot see anything like that. You can just know uh, approximately how strong he was. I mean, it's not terrible to know that, but graphs are so much better. That's why I prefer graphs. I would always prefer graphs over over this. This is close. If I had the uh, stats here, I would probably float, but without stats, I will fall. Okay. We have another table, and we are we are on the waiting list. We are we have uh, other tables on other monitors, so we'll 
try to get it in as soon as somebody leaves. And Palletman would leave, he, he, he had enough money, he can now go. Okay. We're gonna squeeze here. Fall there. This guy doesn't fold at all. We should even probably get bigger than this. But I think it's okay. We have like cool hand to, to progress here. Cool blockers. I think I'm gonna bet. The problem here is he, this guy doesn't fold. He won't fold any pair probably here. Okay. But I think we got just good hands, good playability. And he folds a lot on the turn. So is he if he's calling like pocket fours here, pocket five, pocket sevens, we ha will have opportunity on the turn. And I don't think that any of them has like many, many a6 hands. Uh, I think we can go uh, like here with smaller size. We can bet this king here, a jack. Tonga especially, I don't think that he has. I think uh, he has a he has over like. I mean, I'm showing here for sure now. He fought a lot on the river. I don't think that he's calling a6 or a8 here, multiway. And he faults a lot, I and mean, I think, yes, he faults a lot of multi. So if he has like queen x or set, I think, if he has set, he's gonna get the pot. But I'm gonna bluff, so, because he's folding 67%, so I'm gonna bluff and I'm gonna bet the ace king every time, ace jack also, so I'm not worried. I'm at another table of NL200, that's very good. I'm, I'm gonna stop paying this man. I'm gonna start falling to him. If he bet half of the pot, I'm calling. Magic Orange, can you please tell me in what spot do you think? Because we have a delay and I'm confused now. Uh, give me just what type of hand it was and uh, I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think we can forward here. Yes, we can forward here. Okay. 36, 44 is okay. open here I'm gonna fold here he falls to 4 bit for uh, 5, 55% of the time so and this is close to calling so I'm gonna I'm gonna forbid it put it in my forbit range and we're gonna bet here now when there is triple checked okay Okay, we are out of this table and we are at some other table. Okay, at least we now have all in 200 tables running. That's good. Okay, now I uh, now I know why uh, I uh, what you asked me, Magic Orange. You are asking me about the hand that I showed this king. Uh, I know because this that guy fish when called. Uh, there was like similar situation before and the fish called and he go he was going into the four bet and that players when when somebody do that when use like mini five bet i know for sure that he's like always do doing that because if he had the aces he won't be afraid like he would like uh, wanted to put more money in and give a fish opportunity i'm i'm sure about that 
okay out of position he falls and I think he won't fold the river very often we see here that when he calls the delay C bet check call delay C bet check call river he, he check calls like 56% of the time which is like way more than other players do so I'm gonna give up here against him and we're gonna win it that's good I mean it's like thing of habit when you like play this way you are gonna make it every time uh, he's he saw that the fish called called the tree bet he called uh, that the fish called called the call called called for bet <laughs> he saw that and if he if, in, if he had aces and we were a little deeper he would like go for five bet again I'm sure of it If I'm not sure, I would fall this king. Okay. Let's go. Let's get some hands. We are just losing now. Losing. Losing, losing. And I'm gonna start just uh, going... Having prepared uh, other tables. If, if the tables fall apart we can have another we will see if there is an L400 we're gonna just raise here and we got a really nice turn okay I'm gonna use like smaller size here this is call here He potentially can have like queen x of spade. That's it. I'm gonna bet here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade my uh, call range. Here I'm gonna call. We, we don't have a lot of strong hands. We have like a10, a6, pocket sixes. But he has dents, we don't have dents, so we're gonna call, we're gonna call the turn. I see some NL 400 tables ready. Let's see his check fold here. He he, he did have Zibet of 100% on the river. Uh, I think I'm gonna make an overbet here. We saw that he's light on all. If you have like ace queen, ace king here, he's calling for sure. Okay. Magic Orange, I explained uh, what was I thinking in that spot. Uh, if you show me ace there or king king there, I would like, uh, I would be ready like to bet in anything. <laughs> I just have, I, I just, when I just see something uh, that player does something so strange, I know that he's like doing that uh, with some, with some habit in it. And if he done that in that spot, he would done it in this spot for sure. No aces or king king there. Queens, he would probably play that way. Jacks, tens, ace king for sure, but not not kings and aces. And with that so much that money, I I don't think I can fold ace king when I know I have at least forty two percent equity or forty four. It's not important. We are all, we all have some uh, habits and uh, in the game, but when somebody does so strange move and in this spot where the fish made uh, like called call for bet, I don't think, when, when fish called call for bet and so much money, 
I think he would he would like to be sure that to get maximum value there. Okay, at least we are playing uh, NL two hundred. There is, I think, one table NL four hundred running, but they are just sitting out, sitting out, sitting out. That's why I'm uh, I'm playing now uh, all to, to NL two hundred because they're like it's always playing, and I hate to just go to sit out. But soon as the table open, I will go there. Soon as the Okay, there is a fish on NL400, there is uh, two fishes, so they are playing, okay, we will go there if we have opportunity, okay, I'm gonna open here, this guy is called for small blind and has have a small, I have a calling range, okay, this guy squeezes, I think this is a standard call, 10%, Tight range, but okay. I mean, he probably has like eight plus here, and okay. Now table so open <laughs> on the NL two hundred. Okay, we're gonna fall. I think this size is terrible. I think multi way we need to have a bigger size. I think you don't you you want usually like bet one hundred percent of range multiway. Even on this board, I think you can like bet nine nines here with this size, but I don't like it because when he checks, he I mean circuitly always needs to fold. Okay, big blind versus early. Ah, this guy is like fifty percent all suited hands. Okay, we have. A, see that we, we want call here we will fold this guy check folds in position 66 percent so his civeting range is stronger than usual we're gonna fold okay i will see if if there is an action on super sport not still not yet not yet, okay. We're gonna trade it here. Let's see his range button versus button versus small blind. Okay, usual range. Okay, usual range. Ace ten off, queen jack off, like last Broadway off. Suit connectors, gappers, and king eight plus. Suit king eight suited plus. Standard calling range. He doesn't have king seven suited. That's probably more standard range. King seven, queen seven, and jack seven suited. But okay, of the range. Seven ten is a fold. And I also uh, yesterday we, we have a couple of spots and I didn't show you. And uh, when I uh, was going to sleep, I remembered that. Uh, I also have like one cool definition that I wanted to show you. You know how I'm telling you like this is like the best thing you, you can have like this patch when player uh, skip turn C bet and check hold and check fold the river. But one more thing is cool to see. It's cool to see the range when he is calling that spot. Uh, we have a definition that we can see with what type of the range he skip turn C bet and calling in tribute pot. And I'm gonna show you that. It's really cool. Okay, big blind versus early position, a little bit loosier, maybe more off ace. Okay, we're gonna check here. I'm gonna now show you that it's it's really good. Okay, we are calling here. I don't think that we have a lot of a text here, to be honest. So I I can't now uh, turn it into bluff because most of my ATX I would bet. So I'm gonna see his step and bet the river frequency. Step turn and bet the river. He has two bluffs. 
without equity and that's telling me that we need to call here uh, we are beating 10 jack queen 10 and queen jack and we don't block that we have king blocker i think it's cool okay let me show you that cool pop-up that cool definition i was talking about look at this i think it's really really cool definition trivet pot skip turn civet and check all range okay we see that this player called tense middle pair he see the flop and then turn check called it and he check called nines in this spot nines are uh, flush and we see that he rarely do this so by against this type of player when he's like checking the turn we should like be more aggressive because like he's probably check folding a lot we will see but i think that he's check folding at least 60 percent okay he's check folding 45 percent but he's check raising 25 okay that's telling me that when he doesn't check raise he check calls his check call range is weaker like mediocre hands under pairs probably under pairs so against this guy we need to we need to attack okay i see it's 10 for me is call and uh, he, this guy has like 20 percent uh he has like king queen here as a bluff he has uh, ace four is five just of suited ones four five and five six of suited ones uh, we are blocking 10 which is not ideally and his double barrel range i see it's not okay he even has like middle pair bottom pairs he's even bluffing with some of the two x like ace two suited maybe even like hand with like pocket fours pocket fives even it's close i think if if we have like ace4 ace5 it's just a clear call but with ace 10 it's tricky i think we need to float the flop of course but i don't think that we can call on the turn we have we have like better hands to do that uh we're gonna bet here 24 okay big blind versus early he has probably king nine and his range of yes he has king nine okay he doesn't have six seven or seven eight of big one three right here so he doesn't have a he only two pairs that he has is queen five king five suited king four suited and four five suited he's tributing some part of uh, some part of four five suited he's tributing so he doesn't have a lot of two pairs in that range Magic Orange, I rarely fold Ace King, but I would fold if he, I would fold if he like did this again. He doesn't fold a lot on the lacy, but we can see here with what he's calling the lacy, with, with, with weak made hands, middle pairs and stuff like that. So I'm going to just give up with this hand. I would fold now Ace King if he like made uh, again uh, uh, min min five bet. I would fold Ace King. I'm gonna fold here. Okay, we, we get the four, but he doesn't fold a lot, and he four bets a lot, so we're gonna. I mean, it's only one spot. He did four bet here, or oh, he called here. He four bet once. It's on the bigger side, but I think it's like too good hand to fold, especially in position. In position. Let's see the four bet pop up. Let's see how he played. I, he's a C, but okay he was just civeting till now one time and he one time civet uh, we can probably step here we can check here i think it's same we can we can we can even step here i think we have like many queen x's here 
I'm gonna bet small here. I think he, he has to have jacks in his range also. I think that he would bet it on the turn. I'm gonna bet smaller. I think that he will bet aces and kings. So what 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 type of hand? He can have like maybe. I'm gonna. Ha. This is really close. I'm gonna check here. <laughs> it's really close. I'm just thinking what's calling us. Ace king. Why wouldn't she, he see that like his king? I'm just interested to see what he has here. Okay. I just... It doesn't have any sense for me. I mean, I know that he would see that his king, he see it like 100%. Okay. Let's see here, multi-way pop-up. His flop see that I'm interested in. Okay. He tributes and... And let's see the range. I think we can fold. His tributing range is like 8%. <laughs> I think that he can see that uh, in this spot, jacks and queens also. I think 6-7 is a, is, a, is a call on the flop. And again, I don't have a time bank. He has like his ace eight percent. He has nine plus ace king. He has ace queen here. Okay, we're gonna see his range here. Okay, this guy maybe even doesn't have uh, twos and threes in his range. That's really cool. I mean, we have like basically the nuts here. I see that he's falling really a lot, and I think that he even falls two and threes. He has four and fives for sure, and I don't think that he even has like four or five suit in this spot. Like seven percent, he doesn't have that. Okay, we're gonna bet here like chilling and betting. Oh, we need to bet here. I didn't. I just didn't uh, didn't see it. It's 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 simple bet here against this type of the player. Okay, I see that he steps flop and then give ups, and when he checks the turn behind, he always falls the river. 10 is not great, we need to, if he check behind, we need to bluff the, the, the river with this hand, I'm gonna fall here. We need to just see that this board against a player that has range of 70% of hands, I the time ran out and I just didn't see what would happen, my big mistake here. Okay. His fault to tribute small blind versus big blind is really a lot. So we're gonna against him we're gonna have polarized range. We're gonna have a little bit of stronger calling range. We're gonna raise here. He has like really big civet here. Even this is spot where he needs to have like 50-60% of the civet, but he's like generally civeting 60%. That means that he's probably civeting this even more and when I see that he doesn't check fold that's telling me that his sibet is full of fair when he sibet he's full of fair and that's even better for uh, raising him when he sibets so he'll probably check all like jack x here in this spot okay and he, uh, he when he check for check calls he likes to call it all the way so I think he has like a Jack X in his range here, and he would like to see with his bluffs. We can like continue, we have an equity, but it's okay. And that's what's here most important that we need to attack his Cibet range. We're gonna like, uh, we're gonna like do it like crazy. We're gonna raise his Cibet a lot. 
they're gonna race here now. Okay. Trivet thing here. Falling. Flies are attacking me again. I'm not enjoying it. Fold, fold, fold. I'm just done feeling that we we are playing well today. There is no 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 anything. I'll just keep on trying to get something. <laughs> Chain. You are telling me I don't like to fold. Tell me one person who want, who likes to fold. Is there a person who likes to fold? If, if if I mean if you like to fold you would like play some other game. Here he has 60% probably all suited hands then in his range, king 7, queen 7, jack 7 ok really good, he doesn't stab a lot we're gonna go to delay bit. he doesn't fold a lot on delay bit, so this is cool this is really cool we're gonna have a hand no, we're gonna bet I think he probably has some ace ace, ace 7 probably, ace 8 sometimes and I see that he doesn't like to f when he called delay C, but he falls the river 50%. I mean, even 50% is enough for like go to the half pot C, but. And what is cool, he doesn't have queen 6, queen 3, and que queen 4 off. So that's really cool. We are like enjoying on river because he didn't get a second pair ever. Only, only suited versions which is like not much of the combos three combos and for every combination for every like he has like three combinations of queen four I think even two combinations of okay king yes just two combinations of queen four queen three and queen six just six combos of two pairs on the river I think we are enjoying it, and he called uh, uh, us on the river with with six uh, x. Uh, this is like we can go for four bet, but this is too strong. I would four bet four seven probably. Even two seven is four seven is a call against twenty two percent of the range, so it's like enjoying. And we're gonna check raise here. Twenty two percent. He probably has like weak a six hands. Yes, a four, a eight. King six stuff like that. We're gonna put them all in the trouble here. We're gonna check raise. Another thing that he like check raise is jack ten off, which is really cool. And we're gonna see what will happen now. He doesn't fall to check raise very much. Uh, we can show here. We can bet smaller. He's like calling check raise is really 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 thin here I think I'm gonna go for shove here with this hand let's see what will happen he will have like uh, weak hands here we have fold equity and even if he called we got like cool hand here The fish lost on an L NL400 and all, and they all are sitting out. And that's what's annoying with uh, 
with this side eye poker that doesn't happen on party party should like make hearts again and like let people play it's the best side for playing they have rake bet of like 50% plus 45% plus okay this guy I remember doesn't fold on low boards and we need to get the sizing up in this spot and uh, with king without blockers I'm gonna give up let's see his stabbing range he steps he doesn't even step a lot but I see that he's folding on delay c bets a lot so we're gonna check check fold 53% check check off fold okay we're gonna bet here uh, I'm gonna bet here like this uh, I think that he would step uh, with pocket pairs uh, I don't think it, that he will call ace high so if we fold ace high here I'm, I'm really happy thanks not get it thanks I mean I feel like I'm playing uh, okay but I'm not happy Magic Orange, you think I'm self-critical? I don't know, I mean... I don't care about the flips. I don't care about the flips, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe because because uh, there were no tables at the beginning and that little tilt me on the beginning, but okay. I, I, I was also thinking maybe we need to like even go f uh, later than 10 10 o'clock because like it seems like there is no i mean now it's like a lot of tables but not then okay uh this player let's see his check backing range check check call turn pair flag draw okay uh we can bet we can check here he's doesn't have a really strong check range and he doesn't check ace a lot in this spot, so that's going for a bet here. But we can also check it just to see his delay C bet range. Delay C bet range. Delay C bet is here. Okay, he's delay C betting. He's delay C betting really a lot. So I, I like my check now. I like my check now. This is call here. I'm gonna bet here like this. I think King High is too strong to bluff. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Magic Orange. Thanks. Okay. We're gonna bet one third. This guy is calling. Okay, he has a really. Uh, he doesn't trip it at all, 40%. It, it's probably ace, ace 8 off. I don't think he's calling ace 7 in this spot. A little bit of tight range. Uh, we're gonna trip it here. Okay. Let's see what will he do. Tributing cutoff versus button, he calls 14%. Okay, and he floats really a lot. Ace high, two overs. He floated ace jack on 6, 8, 7. Okay, and uh, he doesn't have like off Broadway, so king 10, jack 10 off, king 10 off, he doesn't have that hand, so that's cool. He'll probably like call, uh, float us with the back doors with Broadway, like king jack, queen jack with backdoor flash draws, but I mean, it's okay that standard floats, he, he needs to even check raise some of them. But we have like, I mean that his first time that he f folded against us, yes. So he can fold against us. And I really like this pop-up because I see like his check calling range. And we see like here, uh, I mean, uh, not KD asked me why I like uh, uh, graphs. Like, like I mean, you see, when somebody bet one third of the pot, he out of position called H Jack on six eight seven. When somebody bet like uh, half of the pot, okay, he called middle pair, he called queens. Okay, I mean, you see all context of the hand. You know any everything. So, what if you see like strength number seven? He called seven. You don't see anything, but here you see everything. 
even with the strength number you can assume but here you see for sure so what's better to be assuming or knowing for sure like graphs are so much better in every spot we got a skin here great uh, let's just see his uh, badge this badge this means that he double barrels and really folds a lot on the river when he checks the river he's almost always check folding that's really ni nice to know and we're gonna remember that let's see his calling range i remember that he's like usual calling range as yes, usual calling range okay let's see just against us is he like calling stronger against us okay call tribute strength i would say that he's this guy is like even a little bit tighter than the normal player okay and just to see He's folding on one third, thirty percent, fifty percent against the hero. Okay, he has floats. Okay, we're gonna bet uh, one third here. I assume that he's gonna call all pocket pairs. Uh, he's gonna call uh, about his floats, probably like Jack Ten of club against one third, King Jack of club, Aces like Ace Four, Ace Five of club, Ace Six of club probably. And that's it it's always to, uh, nice to know I mean you know for for a fact in tribute pod that he's probably calling any pair but uh, it's really important to see uh, what type of flow does player have and when you go to to this you can see like he's calling okay bluffs and you can see against what sides because we, we see here that this is weak hand okay he called ace queen it's a strong float in that spot King Queen on two do three. I mean it's okay. Eight nine is a gut shot. So this guy is not like. Uh, I mean he maybe would even f not maybe for sure he would fold Jack ten of club in that spot. Okay, we're gonna call kings. We're gonna make a top set. We're gonna make top full house. And that's it. Uh, okay. Small blind versus cutoff. We're gonna see this. This kind is okay to four bet bluff. Let's see his fault to four bet really a lot. I'm gonna four bet bluff it here. I think that one of our bluffs needs to work because I I was going through database. We didn't uh, uh, our fault to five bet is like thirty percent. So we need to start uh, four bet bluffing people. okay and uh, I was trying to say just to see the question I, I just see now not get the question and uh, were, were I strong in mathematics in the school I was going into the mathematical gymna gymnasium I like mathematics Mathematics was really fun. You didn't need to learn like, or you didn't need to like memorize stuff. You just need you, you have like numbers and you and you're just like uh, trying to uh, find the solution for problem. Really, really, I enjoy mathematics in school. Against 14% A7 is not cool, even when we got uh, super good odds here. Here we can uh, for we can tribute our call. We need to do like 50-50 here. I'm gonna make a call here. Let's see his fault to raise here. We see even fault to raise versus the hero. Against one third, we want to check raise it. Like this size and we see that he's really careful so, so he won't call like ace jack here or or stuff like that he will call like pairs here and he will call like draws here so it's important to know that uh, when nine come it really now we have like four four and nine ten that's it like so we have like 
uh, we have we don't have tens, we don't have nines, we have nine, nine, ten, which is uh, six combos, and we have three combos so far. That's uh, only what our value uh, range looks like, and we have like some ten x hands, a ten king ten, and we are for sure checking them on the turn for sure. So we, we will even have like uh, we will we will even have like some. 10, 10x for sure but I also think that he will have 10x here I'm not sure if we need to bluff, bluff here with this hand I mean we are beating like pocket pairs now and if he bet he reps only 10x here and by 20% he only has ace 10 he doesn't have king 10 off, he doesn't have queen 10 off, and he only has like uh, suited hands 8, 8 10. I think we can call here in this spot really easily. Okay, we're gonna make isolation here, we're gonna trip it here. Six jack is a fault. This this guy is clearly fish. And now we're gonna check here and go for the check raise. Let's see his. Uh, uh, this guy doesn't fall to one third, like at all. Check raise here. He stabbed us the hand before, he has like 60% stab range. We're just gonna check raise him a lot and that's that's the plan. We're gonna bet here. And we're gonna show the river. And he had he had 4x. Okay. Okay, so he called isolation with three four suited, okay. Yes, Magic Orange, I agree. Lawyers are rarely good. I gotta bet here. He has like a wider calling range. And against wider calling range, usually this is a check range against no uh, like tight range. But against like thirty percent, it's a, it's an easy, easy, easy bet. Let's see his raising range. Top pair, two pair towards large draw. I don't like. I think it's really strong range. What I see this, and I don't see like bluffs are here. Like I don't. I mean, he has like a lot 6 7 suited, 5 6 suited, 6 8 suited, 4 6 suited, 6 9 suited. And I just don't see bluffs now. Any. I don't see. Maybe we can say like he's like doing that with King Jack, uh, with King or Jack in, in spade. Like King Jeff off, he has like King Jack and Queen, King Queen off. But when we see the stats and we see like this strong. A raise strength is stronger than average and he's raising and betting raise flop and bet turn top high really strong hands I think we can fold here it would be interesting that it wouldn't that uh, it didn't hit the the flush it would be more interesting in that spot to see what will what would we do there how did I decide to go to the law school <sighs> Magic Orange, I, I, I uh, wanted to change the world. I went to... I thought that law is like... Uh, that law is... Uh, that law and justice are the same thing, so... I thought I will make a difference. Okay, check call, easy check call here. This guy steps a lot, so I'm, I was trying to just let me see that if, if he's stabbing everything. He may, okay, we're gonna bet here. Okay. 
Quentin Quentin With the dead guy that had 3 4, like he's not falling on river or anything, so I mean, on 500 hands, he didn't fall river once, and he's stabbing, and we're gonna check raise, and he called. I mean, I'm thrilled that we had like four pair, and I would always play it like that, and I, we will aggressively check raise him. That's the plan, because I mean. Uh, He's like having so wide of the range and he's stabbing really a lot. So against him the tactics would be check raising really much. Small blind versus button. 14%. Okay, this is standard range. Suited connectors. I don't see gappers. Okay. Ace 10 off, King Jack off, Queen Jack off probably. I'm gonna call here. We're gonna we're gonna trip it with smaller size like this. This is not call ever. And I don't think that this guy ha has uh, much of the suited connectors. Mm, we're gonna use bigger sizes here and we're gonna see. I think that he doesn't have a lot of suited connectors. So he probably has like... Uh, he doesn't have 8, 9. He only opens 15%. 8, 9 is 16. And he raises. Okay. That's close. I think that we can call even call here. I think nice river we can like wrap eights, sevens, nines with with the diamond. We can have some that we can have him queen x here. Uh, step the river here. I think it's close. One fold. If we raise like, like we are wrapping queen with with diamond. Okay, this guy is really tight, like really, really tight. Right, like tight, really tight. Ace queen is questionable. Is it a, even ace queen in his range? Four percent. And he's giving us the. I mean, this is standard float. This is standard float normal float but I, don't, I think that his range is like tens plus here and they king Just look at look at the percentage of, of small on small blind. I mean, we only saw jacks, big blind four percent. I mean, it's questionable. We can maybe even fold this ten suited. I mean, it's so hard to fold that hand when you think because like even if he has like a range of tens with ace king, I think it's it's there to call. Okay. 
we're gonna call here we have jack7 off we got king7 off we have some some uh, strong hands we're gonna call again I don't see that he has much okay he bets the river here I think we can raise we think we have queen we have queen 10 here okay if I'm raising I'm raising really big here if I rep like and he's like triple barreling a lot so he even he, he can have a lot of bluffs here we are calling here queen queen 10 suited big blind versus button let's see his range for for uh... okay ace queen uh... eight plus okay he uses a bigger size here gonna call we're gonna trip it here We can shove on the turn, but we see that he bet bet check faults a lot, so we're gonna call on the turn. Oh, let's see here. He check raise a lot. I think I'm gonna check behind here. Okay, I'm gonna check here. I think if he checks, like we can bet here. Okay, we can we can wrap something. I'm gonna call here, and I'm gonna bet here like forty-five. I'm gonna fold here. You can have a have a screen here. I'm gonna fold there. He had A's, eights, okay. I think that uh, in this spot I would check on the turn and on the river we can really bet Jack X here. And I use the size like we were betting Jack X. I think we can check behind on the turn because we will have a lot of hands that we want to check on the turn and he can also have like check ship range on the turn so I'm cool with uh, ch with check on the turn and uh, betting the river I think he call us with 8-8 eight, eight, it's okay okay with this hand I want our bet the turn if we had an opportunity I, don't, I mean this guy played us like yesterday 100 hands and today I don't know maybe 100 hands and he decides to to like make a dead call with uh, I saw that he doesn't fold a lot on the turn and we don't have a really much strong hands we have king jack uh, we have king jack there we have pocket trees there okay we have uh, and that's it of the strongest hands so we have like queen jack uh, jack 10 ace jack we're gonna have like uh, king 10 so i think in that spot we we like we like to check the turn also uh, some percent of some bigger percent of time like I don't know maybe 60% we're gonna check the turn and we're gonna have like that medium hands and when when he checks again I think that Jack is clear value bet and I think I played like I'm really betting Jack there but he didn't believe it so okay And by the size, I think that we use a uh, good size there. But that today just it doesn't go. It doesn't go our way. Anything is not going well. But okay. 
but I really like the check behind. I mean, I really like the check behind. Okay, we're gonna bet here one third. Okay, he folds a lot on one third, so that's okay. I'm gonna bet half here for protection. He doesn't have a lot of seabed, so we're gonna see with what type of hands he's calling uh, the step. He's calling a step with inside straight draw, so probably draw on the turn. Middle pairs, ace highs, and stuff like that. Hmm. This is close. If the five didn't hit, I think we have clear value bet. But now it's a little bit. Because he will probably have some like even had like gadgets on and uh, Anders on the turn, so uh, I think we have a little bit more value. And if we had like uh, a eight, we can value bet like really easy. Okay, we're gonna trip it here. Let's see to quickly see his four betting range. Really strong, so we're gonna trip it him. We see multiway here, how much he see bets. 51% multiway, we're gonna see what type of the range he... Okay, he, he see bets even weak mate hands, like bottom pairs, middle pairs. Blah. He, he see bets really much, so we're gonna attack his... Uh, and this guy calls from small blind, it's not ideal. But I'm gonna bet here. And when this guy calls... I think we're gonna see what type of hands he has. We're gonna go to multi if he calls. He's going for he's calling from small blind. If he calls, he's calling from small blind, and he range is like narrow, really narrow. Okay. And he check raises here. Okay. We need we, we we need to triple barrel here if we if we had an opportunity. Okay, I'm gonna fold here. Uh, I'm gonna bet here. Like like this. We have like kings here and queens. I think we can put the pressure on that. I think he has pocket pairs here, so... And we are checking, like... I mean... Hands like kings are... Okay, check. Queen also. Jacks, I think, need some protection, but... Queen and... We always have king and queens here. This guy has 24%, that means usually queen 7 suited plus. We can, I see he's uh, uh, stabbing a lot. I'm gonna bet here. I'm gonna fold here, okay. Okay. He's folding a lot. We don't see his call range, but he's folding a lot, especially on bigger size. So he, I mean, he's probably calling five, six, and I don't think, I don't know. We're gonna see if he like bets that on the turn. He doesn't bet it. I think we can go small here, like, uh, like some kind of block bet okay and really big size here of gold forward and he has like really 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 strong range and he doesn't fold to five bits so against that size we can fold okay one third here and One third. 
I thought about, uh, I mean, I really like when I play heads up, I only bet like 60% plus and I really like that strategy. So as I was also thinking about uh, imply, implying that strategy also. It's really, it's really good strategy uh, to bet big also and have like check range then because basically when you bet 1 third you don't need to have se uh, such a good check range we're gonna call here of course even it's 6x six, six it's 7% okay he, he has ace jack he has king queen off it's okay I'm gonna fold here and look at this move like 3 and, and, and something x I really don't understand why would he like uh, slow play in this spot I just don't understand. This guy is not even like squeezing a lot, he's squeezing like 8%. I'm really glad that he shot here. I'm really glad. Because I was on the verge and shot against him, because I, I don't have any idea why would he slow play here. A screen. And we would win against both of them. We wouldn't, but... I mean, I would show on him. It's like so, and like, look at the sizing of the of the like. He like go three and a half x against the squeeze. I mean, so screaming for. Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, we're playing four four days against him, and I don't know. I see so much weird stuff that I would wouldn't call him a regular. Right? It's like semi regular or something. Thank you, Magic Orange and partner also. I mean, this guy is like squeezing six x, and if it's it, it would be different if we are on the button, we are closing the action. But I, I don't like to call in this spot. And he's like sitting out now. And I played him uh, a lot. He he's really he's like tight. It seems like he's playing aggressive, but now, but I know him usually, he's like tight here. Uh, we can go here to see his check fold on the river, if we can float here. And he check folds river a lot and he doesn't uh, double barrel a lot. So against this, in this spot, we're gonna float this guy li really light. And when he checks the turn, we're gonna overbet. We're gonna bet here like 3x and 7x. Other size doesn't have any sense here just this one we are betting only full here so <laughs> but I don't feel like that it's going well today just and now on the way is like true betting a lot okay just to see his range and we're gonna like know that he's like pretty he's now tributing king seven for sure and he lost that hand we're gonna call here big uh, big man versus early i'm gonna raise here i'm gonna call here I think we have much more success than he has. We're gonna call here. And I don't think that he needs to double barrel a lot, so... Okay, we're gonna call here. And we get it. Let's see what he had. He had queens here. You see this, he double barreled in a spot where we had much more 6x than he has. If I know that, now I think we need to show there on the turn. Just to punish the, the, the red, punish his range. 
I mean, he he just can't double barrel there, like three quarters of the pot. When we have so much so much more uh, nuts than he has. So against, uh, if you want to uh, like exploit that stuff, you just go aggressively and just just like bomb the turn. Okay, we're gonna trick it here. We're gonna bet here, big line versus early, 40%. Okay. We can check here, I would bet it without, without. Uh, I'm gonna bet the pot here. And I will really bet here. Okay, he's on the draw. Can we survive this? Yes, we can. Nice. I'm gonna use big size here because I, I probably think that he's on the tilt. I'm gonna go 6x here. I'm gonna bet call here. I'm gonna call for sure shout, so it's not important. Maybe we can go like 7x or so. There, he would call like probably anything, any size. So I, kn I know uh, now like when he lost one pot, he just started to playing like shit. So it's probably he's like not good player. This guy folds really a lot, so I'm not gonna bluff here on this. In, on this, uh, he has a stand off here also. He doesn't maybe trivet a stand suited, so I'm gonna give up here. If we get like seven, eight or something, we can like uh, like be betting the turn, maybe even over betting. But against like really, really. He, he just like overfalls a lot, so let me see his uh, check call, check call, check call, check, 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 fold only on big size. So we will need to like wrap here to pair with queens to, to bluff, and I won't do that. And this guy, like now again, I like, can't call the trigger here. I'm gonna bet here. He can, he, can, he can have anything here. And I don't think that he will, this This jack is a season good card. It's connected with... with uh, I mean, he probably calls anything here. Chain, you got uh, part. My partner will set you up. He he set me up like uh, three years with everything. Uh, I don't even I I just I don't even know installed Windows. So he's like done everything for me. He will done everything for everybody. So about uh, poker explanations and stuff like that, I can help you with that. So it's not problem. 
uh, he got like really I mean it's I, I mean this is like just pure pocket pairs I mean and he's tributing nines I think we can check raise here to be honest if he's like tributing if he's having 40% plus 50% plus but he's maybe even uh, not uh, like stabbing threes, five, six. He's probably check backing them. So, okay. And I'm not afraid of backdoor flush draws because he doesn't have, a, uh, he doesn't have a lot of range. So we're gonna bet here. I think that he's main, mainly a range of pocket pairs here. Maybe some broadways, but mainly pocket pairs because he's like calling four percent. That's like pocket pairs and that's it. Magic orange, do I tilt sometimes? I tilt like all the time. But when somebody plays like shit, that's like tilting me like crazy i mean when somebody plays something that it shouldn't be played and get the pot and it and, and i don't even need to be in the hand like that's like tilting me immediately i start tilting but i mean everybody's tilting i don't i don't, we are all we are all person from from flesh and blood so so we are all tilting i mean I, i'm tilting i'm tilting for sure i'm tilting now 6-9 for 55%, it's close, we, against the hero is 50%. Okay, we got so all aces, and he has like, he has like, um, okay, call here, bet here. This is like, terrible, terrible river. To wait a bit. I'm my guy, I would kill myself now. <sighs> I folded 10 stands to this like monk tilt monkey. I need I wanted to four bit I'm so I'm so no oh. I'll just slap myself with this like in the face. I can't believe it. We had opportunity to punish him. I had opportunity to punish him and I didn't. My God, I'm, I, I'm tilted now. I'm really tilted. <laughs> okay, we're gonna orbit here. Even this guy like folds really a lot, but he'll have flash draws, some flash draws here. I think we're gonna use just normal size and bet the river. He will have like flash draws here. He had jack 10, 9, 10. Uh, and this is not good, greatest river. But I'm gonna bet it. Uh, it's not great because now if he has like a queen jack or queen 10, he's probably calling it every time. He will have like some flash draws on the turn. Ah, okay, we, we need to bet here. We need to bet here. We are on, at the bottom of our range. We are not blocking flash draws, but turn is not good because maybe he can even convince himself for a call with with the jack ten on the turn because we didn't over bet. If we did over bet, we can shove here. But also, I think like that nine is not a great card. But now it's like I mean clear bluff. We can we can never have worse than this. Uh, I would like to see like when he's triple checking how much he's folding. Uh, I'm gonna bet. I'm just so tilted now I can't explain. I'm so mad of, uh, at myself. We had tens against this this guy and and I folded tens. <laughs> so sick. I'm so sick. Let's do one more orbit and I'm, I'm done.
we can just go through hands and that's it. We are like two hours now. Too long maybe for some, some people. I'm not happy. Thank you, Chain. Thank you, Chain, a lot. I think I, uh, uh, not yet. You're asking me about tilt, tilt issue and uh, how I control. I think that I can control myself. I mean, I I go through enough in life so I can control, but it doesn't mean it. It doesn't mean that it's not hurting. I mean, I mean when I when you tilt, you are like uh, you need to control your emotions. It's burning inside of me, but I mean, it's not like I need to play like. It's not like I, I'm on the tilt and I'm gonna play like all the time. It's not like that because, but when I'm tilting, I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm like, uh, uh, I just want that person who, who gets something that it shouldn't get it. I want them to lose it uh, as soon as possible. Uh, because when somebody plays like really bad and plays terribly and get the pot and I don't even ha need to be in the hand especially when I'm playing live then that happen I just I'm just like tilting but I think I play like not too terrible okay we're gonna trip it we're gonna finish then for today uh, we can like go to hands if you are interested in that we can show uh, pop-ups in the replayer I think uh, I think uh, that uh, I don't even can understand how I can fo how I, I click the fold on that ten ten so annoying so annoying <sighs> we can punish the tilt and I didn't do it. But when it, when I kill the fly, it feels it feels a little better. I can control the tilt then. We can call here. We can tribute it. Fold here. I'll we'll call here. I think we need to call again here. I want to see how much he folds on our bet. Okay, he folds river over bet really a lot we're gonna go like put here <sighs> I'm not happy guys for today I'm really not not happy. Last hand for today, and we're gonna see the results. And we're gonna go to hands if you like. We're gonna show uh, in the replayer some pop-ups if we can connect it, that, so I can show like if I missed something. I'm gonna fall because I'm j it's last hand and. I'm just like wanted to, 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 to quit the game. We made like two hours and something, okay. Let's see the score. Okay, we, we uh, nice blue line here. It's not bad. Let's see the hands that we lost and the hands that we won. 
we can like see what happened okay this is the hand that we talked about this guy like uh, I was like 100% sure that he has that he doesn't have kings and aces and I like know that from he tribute this fish I called for but here and he's I uh, you see that we have like we are we are a little deeper and he's like going to shower here he would like go up to 105 just to get more value from fish because if his fish has like ace jack suited he's not falling queen queen suited he's not falling <laughs> yes yes partner uh sweating fly is like really liberating for me I mean I decided to call here I don't want to improve any anything okay not call or not anything I think it's okay I just knew that he had something like that let's see the Queen's hand okay I mean we are against the fish here uh, we check raise the flop he calls I mean there is not a lot of uh, backdoor flushes I think in his range we like go to we check raise it we check raise it him I don't I, I don't think he will call like seven eight of hearts here so he will like call probably uh, this type of player will probably call we can see his stabbing range step versus here 100% stop versus fold versus check raise zero and we see now that he stepped the flop with uh, with the uh, with the trips but he stepped the flop before all the time uh, and when he check raise I don't know how he how he reacts on check raises we didn't know that information but I mean he has all jack x he has all pairs on the turn we are like I mean I, on the turn I was like really really happy also we bet the turn and he called I mean maybe he can have like I don't want to change anything keep the current shame and that's it okay and we bet like here turns of the pot and he calls and the river is eight I mean I don't see many 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 flushes only flushes would be jack and he has like probably jack seven off jack six off so I'm not worried he will have a many jack x he will have like even this player will probably have like pocket five pocket six and like we are <laughs> I mean here for me it's always bad 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 and we will have like also a bluffing range here I mean I would like maybe done this with like king queen or maybe queen 10 I would probably have blockers but okay I don't think we can do anything there against that type of player especially when we check raised <laughs> magic orange nice one but I mean then don't like remind me on that hand uh, now the tilt is raising again okay this is like flip we lost the flip this is a like interesting hand here and I want to go through this I mean uh, let's see his here he's like best, big blind versus button this is his range 10% plus 10 for 10.4 I don't see H jack but he probably has it in his range and he probably has like H jack ace queen king queen and suited connectors okay I think that's his range uh, when he bets like this and we call and I, I see like when when he's using like so big size with dates I don't think it's a good play especially because he doesn't have king jack off if it's small blind against button I can uh, understand without problems 8-8 eight eights, like a bet but he doesn't have king jack off and we have king jack off and that's like really big in this spot and I don't think that he needs to see bet 100% of the range here okay so we call here I don't think we can like we don't need to raise here uh, even there is a logic that we can raise because we have king jack and he doesn't but okay we called and on the turn uh, he's checking 
I mean that we can check uh, uh, behind like hand that has so much full equity here. Uh, we can like uh, check behind hand with so much equity. I think it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's really even okay here to bet. I mean, I would bet like king queen every time here, but I decided to check it this time just because I have uh, I want to have some uh, really strong hands in my checking range strong hands that can they, they that can hit like even a straight or even a, a, a flush so I decided to check check here I would like bet my verse flush dress uh, but I decided to, to have like some of the check here and uh, on the river I think it's like clear that he has like uh, something that he had because he would value bet jack x here so on the river i thinking he has like nine seven eights we saw that he's still betting seven nine eights and uh, that's it i just uh, then wrap the jack x in this pot but even i would like go with the king x like have the pot i wouldn't go like like bigger with with hand like king nine suited king eight suited or king ten I would check some of the king 10, I would bet every king queen, I would bet some of the ace jack, some of the nut, some would be checked, so I think it's a good play, but he called with 8-8, eight, eight, which I don't think it's a good good call, because he doesn't know how we play, if he if he knows how we play, okay, then, then okay, but he doesn't know us. Uh, we checked the river here, because I was for sure that he's like uh, betting ace, ace king in this spot, so when he checks, uh, I think we would we would like uh, uh, really <laughs> we just uh, lost minimally here because uh, against normal opponent. I mean I, I just saw that this guy is like uh, weak player, so I decided to check back. I mean against normal opponent, I would have like step range here with this hand with backdoors possibility straight up possibility and pretty good flop for uh, for my range. I think it's really good flop for my range and uh, but I decided to check because he's like fish and on the turn we are like betting and when he's calling on the turn I, I'm just immediately sure that my, my hand is not good here and uh, I just didn't see from what value I can get uh, we can go to 4 bet pop up here uh, and we can see uh, that he uh, made 4 bet at two occasions he c bet once uh and uh, uh we see that he didn't see he he didn't see see bet at all okay he see bet once in position but he never see bet out of position okay and we see that he see bet the flop and give up on that that means like that he's probably see betting bluffs and immediately when i saw that i knew that he's, he he would see bet is king Every, every time for sure and when he's calling on the turn I can see like jacks there and uh, like slow plays here so I knew I knew on the turn my, my hand wasn't good and I knew that he would uh, bet uh, kings and aces also so I didn't see what value I will have on the river from what value I will get so I just like check, check behind okay ace jack was this for force were I mean this is the spot when if only why way to rampage is like pretty clear I mean I this is like pure spot where we can like bet the pot on the river but he's on the tilt and I was sure that he would call he called call tribute with this we, we're gonna bet here for sure because because he can have like six seven here and we just want to bet uh, this spot and on the turn when the jack came it's not greatest card because he when when he's calling he's like connecting something with with the board and with when jack is here he's like connected like 80 percent of the time he's connected here and i decided to check and when he checked behind so i immediately knew he's ma like maximally have a jack x here and he will have like 9x and on the river i think we have like if he's not on the tilt he we have like pure hotspot like betting here like three quarters of the pot like for sure we're gonna bet here we're gonna we're gonna bet king x i would bet like jack x there i would bet queens but i was thinking that he would he would probably call us because he's on the tilt and uh, we can see uh, here uh, from 
from Hag, but I, I just knew, knew from the way he played like four days that he would like uh, call check check fold a lot. I mean, his folding call check check fold is 67% on the normal size. Uh, he doesn't fold on the uh, big size because, and that's the reason why I wouldn't use a big size on the, on the river, like big size, I mean orbit size. I would, I would use like three quarters of the pot or two thirds of, two thirds of the pot, like I would see with Jack X or King X. And I think that we would, that we would get the fold there that he's like on, uh, on a normal, uh, nor that he's not on the tilt. I would do that. And also, uh, I didn't show you, it's nice feature to know he's like flop check back uh, range. I mean, against this player, we, we can just play like, uh, Going for the lay cibits a lot. He's folding on the lay cibits really a lot, and we see that his check back range is like full of weak hands. So against him, we can have strategy about like uh, not cibiting that much, just going to like the lay cibit, because like we see here that he's like his check range is terrible, really terrible. He's like stabbing top pairs plus, checking middle pairs, checking nothing. He doesn't stab like with backdoors, so it's like easy to play against him. Okay, uh, this is like hand uh, on the river. I wasn't sure what to do. When he checks the flop, I think we are we are like probably okay. But when the ace hits, uh, I just feel that he has like ace queen all the time here, uh, and this player on the turn uh, steps really low. So I also thought that he would probably had some. Uh, flush draws on the turn also and I it's most logically that this, this flush draws are with jack x because he's, he's came here so I don't know maybe it's even possible that he's like checking the some of the flush draws that he shouldn't be checking like maybe king queen or stuff like that because he's he has like re really slow step of the turn and on the river I I mean I'm not sure if I need to bluff this because I mean, he has like eights, eights and nines here, and tens probably, that we're gonna maybe fold, maybe not fold, but I mean, uh, eights, nines and tens are 18 combos, and he, and he has like uh, 12 combos of, of face queen. So it's like, it's like, uh, it's like, I don't know, I didn't want to bluff there. I think that the all other hands are not so important. Uh, the stream tomorrow will be, I think, in same time. We can, we can, we can make it in in into 10 p.m. again and see if there was not action like uh, today. We can move it up.